Now I'm going to show you how to set up Smart Lock on a Pixel device. Smart Lock will allow you to keep your phone unlocked even if you have a passcode on it. If you're connected to a specific Bluetooth device or you're in a specific location um, that you have set up previously. So say, you know, the Bluetooth in your car or a set of Bluetooth headphones or a smartwatch, right? If you're always wearing your smartwatch and you don't want your phone to lock, um, you can set this up so your phone won't put that passcode barrier that you have to use to get in to unlock your phone. So to go ahead and do this on a Pixel device, you want to jump into your note um, in your notifications here and then down once again and go into the settings. Once here, you want to go to security, then tap on smart lock, and then go ahead and just put in your passcode it'll ask you for. And here you have a couple different options. You have on body detection that keeps your device unlocked while it's on you, while you're moving around and things like that. You can go ahead and turn that on um, if you want to. I'm not going to, but that's up to you. I've used it before. It works pretty well. Then there's trusted places at a location where the device should be unlocked. So you can go ahead and add your um, home address as a trusted location. So when you're at home and the phone's in the house um, or in that kind of surrounding area, it will not lock so you won't have the passcode on there. Or what I was talking about earlier is you can do trusted devices with um, Bluetooth devices like your car Bluetooth, headphones, um, your watch, whatever kind of Bluetooth device that's connected to your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and select trusted devices. Once I do that here, you get some more information. It says add a trusted Bluetooth device to keep this device unlocked when connected. So. Again, it gives you the example of um, Bluetooth watch, like a smart watch, or um, your car's Bluetooth system or headphones or something like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select add trusted device down here at the bottom. And you will actually see all the devices you've ever connected via Bluetooth in this menu here. And then you'll go ahead and select the one you want to add as a trusted Bluetooth device to use with smart lock. But an important thing to note here is that if you tap on one and it says it can't be set up, it's probably because you're disconnected from that Bluetooth device at the current time while trying to do this. So you want to make sure you're connected to that Bluetooth device um, or else it won't let you set it up properly here. So if you're going to use your car, go in the car, um, turn it on if you need to, make sure your phone's connected to that Bluetooth, then go ahead and do these steps to try to set it up. Now I'm going to go select the pair of headphones that I do have on and are connected currently. And there we go. We can see add trusted device, right? It says your Bose headphones will unlock your phone when it's connected to it. Someone takes your phone while it's near your Bose headphones, they may be able to access your phone. So there is a little bit of a security risk with this, so do keep that in mind. But I'm going to go ahead and click yes add. So there we go. And then I can even add another trusted device if I'm connected to one right now. But I've got those. And then if I tap on it, I can always remove it as a trusted device if I want to. So I'll click done. And again, you can mess with the on body detection or trusted places. It's kind of the same concept. But now if I lock my phone and I swipe up, you can see your device is unlocked while connected to the Bose headphones. Okay, this message won't pop up every time. I'm pretty sure it's just the first time. So even if we lock it and go back, there we go, right? It doesn't pop up again. Now if I turn off my Bose headphones and now my phone has disconnected from them if I try to unlock my phone it's gonna pull up with the passcode and I'm gonna have to go ahead and unlock it and again if I turn the Bose headphones back on my phone connects then that lock screen won't pop up it won't ask me for my pin or pattern or fingerprint or whatever you have set up for security so that's how you go ahead and set up smart lock um, for different Bluetooth devices, or you can do the on-body detection or trusted locations if you want to. Hopefully that helps.
Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified about other helpful tech videos I post to the channel. Thanks for watching.